guys, it's me Ryan from the Buttery Show here with a voice anime legend, Keone Young. What's up, Keone? Hey, how you doing, brother? Yeah. What's up? Doing good, doing good. He was the voice star of Storm Shadow, uh, the manager from Puppy I mean, Yumi, and Grandpa from American Dragon, Jake Long. Everyone's very Grandpa. And don't forget Star Wars Rebels, Commander Sato. Yeah, Commander Sato. And very important. Yeah. And a lot of on-camera stuff, too. Yes, yes, yes. Mr. Wu and Deadwood. Buck Bokai in Deep Space Nine, Wu in Men in Black 3, I got a lot. Definitely. You're a legend, so I appreciate that. <laughs> okay, so what, what's the questions? Yeah, so my first question for you, Keon, is Teen Titans uh, Trouble in Tokyo. Huh? Yeah. Uh, what's it called? A classic film. Uh, what Wonderful was, film. Yes. Uh, what was your process in doing the, uh, doing the voice of four characters in the movie? What was the process? Yeah. That's our job. We come up with voices, we practice, we create them. We really work at them. It's not like, you know, some people think it's come off your head like you're in the bathroom taking a shower and you make all these little cute voices. No, I work on them. I steal. I steal from other great artists like Corey Burton, Rob Paulson, Greg Berger. I steal from them. I listen to them and I go, oh, I, maybe I could do something like that. And I work. I work on them. So it's like... Uh, it's not like, you know, they come off the top of your head. You know, I, I've been working on voices, characters, 50 years. Amazing. Yeah, Amazing. right. Yeah. Uh, now, the second question for you, Keone, is, of course, you were an American Dragon Jake Long. Everyone's very grandpa. Right. Uh, what was your favorite episode to voice and why? No, no, you can't say that because a performer's character is like his baby. You know what I mean? So it's like you can't say... You know, it was my favorite time when he was like three or four or five. You know, it's like the character itself was a joy for me because, you know, number one, I played variations of my grandpa. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And so it had like a lot. Every time I did it, I felt like I was doing my family. You know, it was like if it wasn't my grandpa, it was one of my uncles. Jake, what are you doing? You suck, nigga, tao. I guess got memories. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> okay. Yes. Oh, so my final question for you, Keani, is like, so of course, you are Storm Shadow, legendary character. Yes. Yes. Um, so in a recent film for Snake Eyes, they kind of showed him the credits of who's Storm, like a Storm Shadow. Yeah. Um, so in your eyes, if they make a sequel, what would you wish to have Storm Shadow be? Or like, what do you expect him to be? Uh, I have no expectations, you know, because it's run by a production company. The co production company is owned by the studio, I mean, pays for the production. So they say whatever they want to say. My idea is we got to remember Storm Shadow was Asian American. He was Tommy uh, Arashikage, right? He was from, he was a um, Japanese American. So I wish they would not just take the exoticism of Japan and ninja and all that, but also as an Asian American, as a Japanese American, his struggle, if they encompass that as well. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Because it's different from being in Japan and being here growing up Japanese. Excellent. Do you know what I mean? Yes, exactly. yeah. definitely. Again, like Storm Shadow was my favorite character growing up for G.I. Joe. Yeah. Yeah, so that's why, yes. <laughs> So it's yeah. an honor interviewing you right now. Yeah, Storm Shadow, you got to remember during that time, 1985, when we did it, that was the period of civil rights struggle. That was when we wanted to really have real characters and not because up to that time, uh, Asians or black people or Chicano, Latino people uh, were all kind of done by white people. They were all stereotyped. So we kind of like that was the age of like a change in terms of like voices you know where you got the real and I grew up in the community you know I grew up watching samurai movies I grew those were my heroes you know what I mean so the voices were you know pretty I was pretty comfortable doing those voices you know I would copy Toshiro Moifune you know in the seven samurai you know so I mean that's where the voices come from comes from my cultural background, which made it more right, don't you think? Yes, definitely. Than somebody doing a stupid Chinese accent. <laughs> <laughs> yes, again, again, Keone, thank you for, you All know. Right, my brother. 
Thank you for being part of our childhood. All right. This is Kenny Young, everyone, from Robo Toy Fest and Ryan from Butter Show. Signing out, guys. Bye. All right. Okay, brother. Yo, sup? Thank you guys for watching this Buttery Show interview. Make sure you go check out Keanu Young's Instagram. He's such a cool dude. Thank you again to him for doing this interview with us. But yes, go make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to this video. I'll see you guys next time.